All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Arakakwadash. A double honor is unto the elders and apostles of James Great Millstone, and his sincere Shalom to Yaki in bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Hey, now this article is coming from RT, and it reads, No evidence of extraterrestrial visitors. Hey, now we understand Esau is going to hide things from the general public, you know, just to make sure that he um, doesn't cause a an outcry or an outstir of, you know, of confusion, of worry, and of uh, of doubt, man. Because understanding that, you know, there are um, UAPs or uh, UFOs, um, what he calls the aerial phenomena, that, that puts, um, you know, an energy within the air of fear towards the, the general public, man. Because they then look at America as uh, weak, you know. And why hasn't this threat been eliminated? You know, that's how the American public is going to look at it. You know, so what are we going to do? You know, what's going to take place for us to to, to get rid of this problem? You know, because America is um, a saying that says, when um, you see all your problems as a, as a nail, you're going to hammer it, you know, uh, paraphrasing the quote. But um, nevertheless, Esau is saying there's no evidence, you know, but a hey, the scriptures clearly tell us, hey, the most high revealeth the secrets unto the servants, the prophets. Hey, and the, the Bible clearly dictates that the, the, the angels are within the chariots. So, as they're saying, there's no extraterrestrial. Well, there's a celestial. There's uh, plenty of evidence of celestial visitor, visitors. And these visitors are, are the same ones who are going to come a, back with um, who you ignorantly um, call the, the, the uh, son of the Most High, man. You know, the scriptures tell us in the book of Second Edges, the 13th chapter, uh, of that man and not only that it tells us in the book of revelation the first chapter as well you know and i want to grab those um those uh, precepts so it says the u.s space agency admitted that the unexplained phenomena may however pose a risk to airspace safety it says a panel of independent scientists and experts tasked by nasa with probing the origins of numerous reports of sightings of unified unidentified anonymous uh, phenomena known as uap or ufo said on thursday that no evidence has been found to suggest that unexplained lights are in the sky uh, unexplained lights in the sky are evidence of visitors from another world. Hey, well, even when we go into the, I believe it's a precept in uh, Second Edges, it speaks about basically uh, the balance. Um, and it speaks about, you know, both sides. And it says realm against realm. I want to grab that. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, Second Edges 13 and uh, 31. It says, and one shall undertake to fight against another. One city against another place, and this is, you know, speaking of the end days. It says one place against another, one people against another, one realm against another. A hey, because what this realm that we're currently in is is not the the spiritual realm. You know, understanding that that Yahweh uh, you know, hasn't opened you know our eyes fully into, you know, the the the, the fourth dimension, so to speak, man. You know, and hey, because the angels aren't bound by the laws and rules of this current. You know, um, um, dimension, man. You know, they, they, it's no such thing to the angels as, you know, a, a law of physics, you know, or gravity is, isn't applied to, you know, uh, them. You know, all the different theories and things that Esau has came up with in order to, to show forth that, that men are bound upon this realm upon earth, hey, the, the, the terrestrial, hey, well, that does not apply into the angels, man. That does not apply into the angels. Right. So it says, and one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, uh, one people against another and one realm against another. Right. And the angels are going to a, a be made manifest along with a that man who acts strong with them. As a matter of fact, I'm going to just grab that. This is because uh, it's also in this chapter. Of second edges 13. Um, the second edges 13 and. Here we go, three. And I beheld and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And that's speaking of Yahweh Shai, man, who the world ignorantly calls as Jesus Christ. It says, and when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him, right? Because the scriptures also clearly tell us that what? Hey, the Most High is not, uh, Yahweh Shai is not coming to meet thee as a man, you know? Hey, because when he was upon earth the first time, what did they do? You know, they they, they crucified him. Hey, so he's coming back hey, in that angelic, uh, uh, angelic force, man, you know, in his glory. So I also want to grab that in the book of Revelation 1 really quick. There's a Revelation 1 and 7. And it reads, 
Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so I am. And those clouds are speaking of the chariots, man. Those vehicles that Esau are saying basically aren't a threat. Right? And that's a precept is in the book of Psalms. I believe Psalms 104. Matter of fact, I'll grab that as well. It is uh, Psalms 104, and uh, I'll start here at 3. It says, Who led the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flame of fire. And so it's showing you that the angels are the, the ones within the, the, the chariots, and the chariots they are, are personified as clouds, you know. Um, so let's get back to the article. It says, however, at press briefing at the Space Agency's headquarters in Washington, D.C., NASA scientist Dan Evans admitted that the presence of UAPs raises serious concerns about the safety of our skies. Because Esau ultimately knows, you know, that he's going to have to combat or, or try to combat, you know, Yahweh shine angels, man. Which the scriptures clearly tell us that yeah, it's, it's going to be a fight that and he's going to be made to fight, you know, because even though he's going to be fearful, the scriptures say Yahweh Shema Shai is going to make him durst fight. You know, it's going to shake him up. Seeing a power, a presence that holy, that strong, you know, is 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 going to is going to shake him up, man. But the Lord is going to put the spirit on him to fight, anyways, right? So they know, and they also ultimately know that these these same vehicles, which are going to be sent to destroy them, are going to be sent a to deliver the elect and the one third, man. So let's keep going. It says in that is of utmost importance to determine if these phenomena pose e any potential risk to airspace safety. See, they're only they're only bringing up the fact that it could pose a risk to airspace safety, but not bringing up the fact that they're going to be sent forth a also to destroy, man. Because scriptures speak about the, the, the laser beams or the concentrated fire that these chariots are going to be shooting out as well. It says the 16-person panel was convened, and it, it's funny how Esau brings these certain specific um, um, uh, so-called professionals or so-called... Um, uh, learned men to try to break down a hey, the the phenomena of the chariots man hey when the the prophets are the ones that have the real answers you know it says the sick and it's beautiful also because you uh, when we look back at the accounts of the ancient days you know the kings of certain um um uh, uh, rulerships or uh, the kings of certain kingdoms back then hey they understood that the prophets were the ones with the answers hey but here esau is the one hey, uh, trying to circumvent the 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 answers given uh, unto the prophets by Yahweh Bashim al and just going into these men that really know nothing about the chariots. Yeah, they may have videos, so forth and so on. Hey, but here, Yahweh Bashim al has given us the understanding. Hey, now, Esau ain't going to know everything about the chariots. Hey, likewise, we don't. But we have a greater understanding. And these are our, our, our brothers. The angels are our brothers, as the scriptures speak. Hey, because when we go into what's that revelation, um, uh, Revelation 19, chapter 10, verse, and it says, uh, I am thy fellow servant, thy brother, you know, paraphrasing. It says, the 16-person panel was convened by the agency last year amid a wave of public interest in the subject, particularly, particularly after the U.S. government declassified a trove of footage appearing to show various identified, uh, unidentified objects performing physics-defying maneuvers. That's the spirit. We just spoke about that. Often without any obvious means of propulsion. Ain't right, because they're not, they're not, um, uh, they don't need fuel in order to propel, man. They don't need oil changes. They don't have, uh, you know, um, steering wheels, you know, exhaust pipes, so forth and so on. And the scriptures uh, specifies that in the book of uh, Ezekiel, the first chapter, which hey, we were given that we were told this. This is Ezekiel 1, and I'll start here at um, 12, because this is just the point. It says, and they went, everyone straight forward, whether their spirit was to go, they went. Meaning what? Hey, the angels control the chariots by their spirit. A, um, an example of that, you know, is when you watch the movie Avatar and you see the the Navi, a, which really represents Reuben and Gad, and when they connect with those animals and they put that braid a, within that animal's uh, connection, you know, it says it, as if their spirit is moving with that animal there. They become one, right? It says the spirit was to go. They went and they turned not when they went. So that's the point, man. A, they, they're moved by the spirit of the angels and they all have a duty upon earth to do. And they accomplish that duty without any complaints. Hey, without any grudges, you know, it's done. A hey, because Yahweh Shema Shai has told them to do so. The angels are perfect; they don't rebel, you know. So whatever they're destined or designated to do for that particular moment, 
hey, they knock it out. Um, it says, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. The top takeaway from the study is that there is a lot more to learn. The NASA independent study team did not find any evidence that UAP has extraterrestrial origin. Hey, but it's celestial origin, hey, and you should be scared of that, Esau. Hey, yeah, matter of fact, I'm going to close off with this scripture. <clears throat> this is Zechariah 5 on the top. It says, Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. A so Yahabashim is going to bring a, the, the chariots upon this place, man, as a, as a piece of, or as another um, scourge of judgment, you know. <clears throat> so I just want to bring this lesson to the body to show forth that hey, Esau is admitting, you know, that he knows very little and basically trying to hide the fact to the general public that this is going to be part of their condemnation, you know. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the body. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, and double honors unto the elders and apostles of Jamin's Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to you, Akim, bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.